were scared. We didn't know what was happening. We almost drove up to Anthem to stay for a few days. An orange cloud could be seen in Buckeye Friday evening after police say there was a chemical leak at Thatcher, a chemical manufacturing company near Southern Ave and Rainbow Road. Officials say a nitric acid spill caused this incident. Buckeye police were posting updates on social media to keep people informed, but there are handfuls of comments like these. One person saying, no one knew, and another saying, didn't receive any notification and we live in the affected area. Social media didn't say much. We ended up calling the non-emergency line as well to try and figure out what was happening. Residents living in this highlighted area were told to shelter in place for a couple of hours. Police say it was determined those at risk were within a half mile radius from the incident. Those people got an emergency alert. Caroline Thill lives a couple of miles away. She says she still would have liked to know what was going on. We were really scared. I have a husband with really bad asthma. I'm pregnant. I would have liked it to be more of like a six, maybe seven mile radius. Everyone just in the area who can see it or just most of Buckeye to at least get it. These are dangerous chemicals. Environmentalist Stephen Brittle says the wind and hot weather Friday helped dilute the chemicals being released from the building. He says it doesn't appear any farms near the area were impacted and no one was hurt. The problem with nitric acid, you see this orange cloud and you think, oh, look at that. But what's happening is, a, the, as that dissipates, an invisible gas, nitrogen dioxide, is formed. And that is a thousand times more dangerous. Now, police say within the 20 minutes of this call going out, fire crews were going knocking on doors in the community just east of this incident because those homes were downwind. Now, residents are encouraged to sign up for emergency alerts via text or email from the city of Buckeye. And tonight, first responders, they are meeting up and they're talking about their coordination efforts in response to that call. So we have all of that information on our AZ Family News app. Guys. All right, Holly Bach, thanks for that update. In our